Hey guys, it's Tony from Car Culture Australia here, and today we're at World Time Attack. Right now we're sitting in the Solar D Show and Shine by Donut Garage and Shannon's Insurance. And just around me, we've got a handful and handfuls of awesome cars. You got Sam Isles XC Falcon. What the fuck is that? That is crazy. It's all these JDM spec vehicles. It's all the drift cars on the other side. Harley Davidson bikes. It's all the World Time Attack cars in the garages. It's all the trades. Today is going to be a fucking amazing day. All right, I spot TJ from TJ Media. We're going to go up to him and ask him, what's his favorite car here? What up, big dog? How are you? Hello. I'm good. How are you? Oh, not too bad yourself. We're going good, good. We're going around asking people their favorite car here. So here, what's your favorite car? Mini with the WRX motor in it. Oh shit, no way. And we're here with the Marslem himself, TJ from TJ Media. He's gonna give us a rundown on all these lowdown cars and what's up. So first RX-7 that you are currently seeing, uh, it has got a uh, fully, what I saw from Chemical Guys, uh, that was a wash detail and fully paint correction. And obviously ceramic. The wheels got ceramic coated as well. Now with the second black RX-7 here, uh, with carbon fiber hood with hood pins uh, this one just got a maintenance wash done from memory from chemical guys um, it's very clean and not gonna lie do like the street look on it much better personal preference much better than the never mind Give us a second, technical, obviously. I don't know how well you can hear, but yes, uh, we do have a yellow S2K. This one with silver TE 37 SLs on the silver, uh, which personal preference, obviously people may or may not like it, but I think it looks good. Now with the other S2K, which is a red one, now this one obviously has the same style hood as the yellow one behind me, but it also does have a little bit of flair, as you would say. Uh, obviously rocking the same kit as the yellow one, uh, and the wings are a little bit different. Uh, one's a swan neck on the yellow one, and the red one here is just a normal standard wing. Wang. Big Wang, Big Wang. And we're here with Ashton from the CCA team. Hello, how are you, Ashton? Yeah, good, thanks. How's it going? I am good, thank you. Question. Yes. What is your favourite car here? Uh, that blue uh, Evo, Evo 9. Evo uh, 9, the... where's that? Take us to it. Over here. And tell Over us why. Here. Uh, one of the reasons why I've liked it is because it's been pulled and it's been bagged out a bit. Um, it's had way too much money dumped into it. These are one of the, one of the cars that I've really, really been liking at the moment. This Evo 9, it's nice, it's, it doesn't have all the chrome in it, as if you have a look, like yeah, there's the billet manif intake manifold and a bunch of other things, but it's really nice because they're pretty much all the, all the cars here are just, just black and polished rims, but th this thing is, <laughs> this, this is actually something completely different, which is nice. Th this is one of the things that I personally quite like. Very different. And we got Jaden here with his sexy build right behind us. Question, what is your favorite car here? And you can't pick yours and you can't pick your buddies right there. What's your favorite car? In the show and shine only. Show and shine only. Fuck, he's tall. I'm gonna like... <laughs> I remember... Nah, um... Honestly, I reckon 180. The 180. King 180. Oh, I reckon oh, yeah? it's, I love that color. Mind you like the S14 like two-tone yep. color. I'd, I'd probably go for that. Do you think the pop-up headlights should have been up there for the show? I kind of like how it's like that, to be honest. It's nice, it's like a sleep colour, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, low-key clean. Yeah, low-key clean, I would say that. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> so, it is currently 2.30, so we are, that's about halfway through the day, you reckon? 10 o'clock's fi finish time? Yeah, I'd say about half. So we still got here about 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, about halfway through the day. I am fucking exhausted, and 
I'm ready to get the hell out of the sun. I'm waiting for the sun to set so I can get back out on the track and just film the drifting events and not burn alive to a crisp. So now we've just finished off in the show and shine area and we're going to head to where shit happens. So now we're in, let's say, the drift scene where all the drift cars are located. You've got all their tents up. Right. This is what I actually love. One of the craziest shifters. What was your name? Uh, I'm Yokoi. Yokoi. And what car do you have here? Uh, S15. S15. Uh, and the 2JZ. 2JZ. And Brian Clova. Yeah. 3.4 liter. Uh, Shigesha Mission. Yeah. yeah. And you love your fucking living up and sitting there before. You were giving it to everyone we could not hear. Yeah, I know. I, uh, uh, I hope fun. Yeah. Uh, enjoy, enjoy. Tanobi. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome, love it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good day. Best of luck out there tonight. Yeah, thank awesome, you. thank you. Hey. Hey. Car Culture Show, nice to meet oh, you. Yeah, thanks, man. Legend. Right. Thank you very much. Can you get a photo as well? Tony. Hey, Tony. Nice Shaking a hand. Such a good driver. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you a quick question? Yeah, sure, go for it. What is your number one tip for anyone driving at the racetrack? Uh, it's a be, be slow to be fast. Be slow always, to be fast. It's the same for me here. Actually, like uh, try to overdrive because you always try to be faster, but you gain the most time by being actually slow and gentle in the corners and fast out of the corner. So gentle in, try not to overshoot it because if you ruin the corner entry, you ruin the corner exit and you ruin your top speed for the corner entry of the next one. That's great, very true. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, thank you very much. You guys first year from Asia. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I've got the owner of this crazy build sitting behind me and we're gonna run you guys through what this build is, the story of the full lot. So hey my Spike, how are you doing? Yeah good thanks mate, how are you? I am doing very well. Can you run us through what is this amazing build behind us and what made you build this car in general? Uh, yeah so it's a 1985 Suzuki Mighty Boy. Just wanted to build something different. Um, a lot of time you go to car shows and stuff and you see cars that are like worth you know six figures and they want to thank uh, this paint shop and, and the fab shop and it's, it makes it really hard for like the next generation to get into the cars because it's just too expensive so I was like I want to build something that's cool I want to build it at home with my mates um, I want to spend as little as possible and do everything I can myself and see what we end up with and that's this is what we ended up with. So everything ground up you pretty much built? Uh, yeah. Was... If we come under the hood, what do we have hiding under here? Because this doesn't definitely look factory. Uh, no, so factory they come with a like a very small front wheel drive, I think 540cc, 600cc. Um, so I was like, ah, that's not going to do it. So I built a 13B Bridgeport, um, <laughs> NA, uh, five speed manual. Um, it gets up and goes when it needs to. Yeah, right. If you don't mind me asking, how much power is it pushing now? Uh, I think it made 190 horsepower at yep. Summonats, which is like not amazing, but it'll rev to, I think it made power up to 11,850-ish. 
Holy fucking cow. <laughs> okay, we come to the side of it. Because not only is it sick underneath the engine bay, the side of the car is fucking amazing. What's the paint job on it? And what is this color called? Um, yeah, so pretty much tried to smooth everything out and then painted it in the Kawasaki Ninja candy green that you get on the bikes. And then with the stand setup on it, it's... Do you drive like this? Is this a normal drive home? Yeah, you, you can drive maybe a little <laughs> bit. The chassis is on the ground at the moment, so you probably won't get very far. Uh, but yeah. if you go like five mil up, you can drive around like this without issues, uh, depending on how good the surface of the road is. Yeah. Uh, obviously, we live in Australia, so the surface of the road is usually terrible. This guy's running back. Yeah, it's front and back. Yeah, yeah, front and back. Fucking oh, heck, dude. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I sort of cheated in the back. Yeah. Because I used like some like Harley Davidson rear air shocks air and just modif modified them to suit sort of what I'm working with in the back. Yeah. Um, but the front's yeah fully custom. Yeah. yeah. Right. And if we come to the back, because you've got this amazing setup with a clear top that looks right inside. To any ordinary person, they don't know what they're looking at. <laughs> Can you explain to us what is inside of here? Because you probably fit a baby inside the tires with how big they are. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, I made the chassis as skinny as I could um, and then when I got to the back, I was like, well, let's just put whatever the biggest tyre we can in. Uh, they're three, uh, three, three, five, fifty, fifteens. Um, so like... If we look into the interior of the car, definitely the interior must be done up with everything being custom. What's not inside? Interior-wise, um, I'll give you the mic. It, oh, now. sorry. It's probably it's it's not 100% finished. Um, I only just uh, last night finished the dash, um, so I redid a bunch of stuff, painted like the the hydraulic handbrake and the shifter and the panels around the switches and the gauges to suit, um, and then started re-trimming stuff in like a, a leather with diamond stitch, kind of like a throwback to the auto salon sex spec days. Um, I've got heaps of trim left, so I'm hoping to do a center console, the floor, the cage, uh, the roof, um, and I've got a whole bunch of green LED lights that I'll try and jam somewhere. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, it's got the, the racing seats with harnesses. They slide backwards and forwards. It's, it's heaps roomy. I mean, I've got a mate that's like 6'7". He fits in, no issues. So, surprisingly, there's a lot of room in there. <laughs>
And just like that, we are back at the crib. Just finished watching the drifting last couple of sessions was fucking insane. Everyone was neck and neck. Front bars on back doors, we had hoods flying off, people hitting the dirt. It was a crazy event. And that is World Time Attack 2024 all done. Hope you guys like this vlog. Go check out all the reels we're making, interviews we did, montages, this, that. But without further ado, let's get to bed. Peace. Bye. Ciao.